Have you ever pondered the individual behind one of the most valuable baseball cards in the world? An athlete whose career crossed the threshold of two centuries and still retains a special corner in the hearts of baseball fans worldwide. Today, we unravel the life and accomplishments of the iconic Honus Wagner. Honus was born in 1874 in the coal mining town of Chartiers, Pennsylvania. One of nine siblings, Wagner's early years were anything but lavish, yet it was amidst the tough surroundings of this coal town where Wagner's passion for baseball took root. Honus dropped out of school at age 12 to help his father and brothers in the coal mines. In their free time, he and his brothers played sandlot baseball and developed their skills to such an extent that three of his brothers went on to become professional ball players as well. Fagner's journey into professional ball began in his hometown, playing for five local teams across three different minor leagues from 1895 to 1896. Wagner's versatility and skills caught the attention of Edward Barrow from the Wheeling Nailers, one of the teams Honus played for. Realising Wagner's talent deserved a spot at the highest level of the sport, Barrow convinced the National League's Louisville Colonels to consider him. Despite Wagner's awkward build and bow legs, Barrow persuaded club officials to give him a chance. Wagner made his professional debut with Louisville in 1897, hitting 338 in 61 games. His early years showcased remarkable defensive abilities and a powerful bat, establishing him as a key player for his team. By his second season, Wagner had already established himself as one of the best hitters in the National League. In 1900, Wagner's career took a significant turn when the Pittsburgh Pirates acquired him following the consolidation of the league. It was with the Pirates that he truly solidified his status as a baseball icon. Wagner was a key contributor to the Pirates' success, helping the team win the NL pennant in 1901, 1902, and 1903. His combination of speed, agility, and strong offensive production made him a fan favorite and earned him the nickname, the Flying Dutchman. His batting prowess was unparalleled, leading the National League in batting average eight times, a record he shares with the great Tony Gwynn. Wagner's career reached its peak in the 1909 World Series. The Pirates faced Ty Cobb's Detroit Tigers. The series was the only meeting of the two superior batsmen of the day and the first time that the batting champions of each league faced one another. Wagner was by this time 35 years old, Cobb just 22. Wagner outhit Cobb in the series and stole six bases, establishing a new World Series record. His performance was nothing short of spectacular, leading the Pirates to their first World Series championship Wagner continued to be a productive player through the end of his career. In 1914, at the age of 40, he recorded his 3,000th hit, becoming the second player to ever reach that mark. In 1915, he became the oldest player to hit a Grand Slam, a record which stood for 70 years. Wagner retired in 1917 as the National League's all-time hit leader, which he remained for 45 years. Wagner has been considered one of the very best all-around players to ever play baseball since the day he retired in 1917. In retirement, Wagner's influence on the game did not wane. He served as a coach for the Pirates for almost two decades, sharing his wisdom and experience with the next generation of baseball players. When the Baseball Hall of Fame held its inaugural election in 1936, Wagner was elected with the second most votes tied with Babe Ruth. But Honus Wagner's legacy extends beyond his incredible stats and his place in the Hall of Fame. The T206 Honus Wagner baseball card, produced between 1909 and 1911 by the American Tobacco Company, is one of the rarest and most valuable baseball cards in the world. Only 57 copies are known to exist. Wagner's objections to the use of his image by the tobacco company led to a limited production of the card, making it a rare and highly sought-after item. In August 2022, a copy of the T206 Honus Wagner sold for $7.25 million, making it the second most expensive card ever sold. Honus Wagner helped shape baseball into the sport we know and love today. His life and career encapsulate the very essence of the American dream, a coal miner's son who became one of the greatest players in the history of baseball, 
His legacy continues to inspire, reminding us that with grit, determination and a love for the game, anything is possible.